Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Okay, my name is Jung Bo Ho. Yeah. And I'm, I'm from Busan National University School of Dentistry. Uh, my major is prosthodontic, prosth prosthodontics. So uh, anyway, thank you, thank you for inviting me in this uh, good, good uh, lecture, good uh, seminar. And then especially I'm, I'm thanks to, thanks to uh, Mr. Chu, the JM, JM Bio CEO, CEO of JM Bio. Yes. Uh, in future, I will continue my lectures regularly. And from this year, so uh, today my lecture is starting point. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm, I'm worrying because uh, I prepared difficult content today. But uh, in future, definitely uh, those kind of system will be uh, spread in America. I believe believe so. So today I I will introduce newly de developed uh, implant prosthetic systems and. Uh, the, the first half of presentation, I will, I will talk about the restorative, restorative consideration uh, as basic lecture. And uh, the second half of, half of presentation, I will introduce newly developed implant prosthetic system in Korea or uh, other countries. Okay? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I will introduce myself. So, uh, Today title is Easy and Simple Oral Next. So that title ma made by the uh, CEO Ju, Mr. Ju. So <laughs> I didn't this title to him, but <laughs> he made like this. So anyway, uh, I'm a I'm a, a CEO PNU Ad Company uh, in Busan National University, and then I'm chairman of the Department of Prosthodontics in Busan National University. Uh, especially, I'm I'm a dental advisor. Uh, to the Korea president now. So I'm, I'm treating the uh, pre President Moon. Do you know Moon Jae-in? Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, I published several books until now. I have been publishing. Yeah. So the first book is about implant remove partial denture. So in Korea, uh, new partial denture uh, is combining with the implant nowadays. So Using the small number of implant, we can improve the stability, retention, and support. So I published this book five years ago, and this book uh, was, was a bestseller in Korea. <laughs> yeah. The second book is the, about imp also implant or uh, partial denture. This book uh, worked together with the, the Japanese, and Tanako Yukio. This book is about implant over denture. So I published the, the textbook for hygienists in Korea. And this book is the guideline of for implant surgery and prosthetic systems uh, but, uh, with seven, seven authors. Uh, this month I will, uh, uh, this book will be uh, published in this month, the, uh, the title relining for uh, limb partial denture and pull denture. Another book is the textbook in South Korea. So guideline of digital dentistry and remove partial denture. That is the essentials of partial de denture design. And this is like the Bible in Korea. Yeah, when, when, you, when you draw the design, we, we, can, uh, we can get a hint yeah, from this book. Especially, I published the English version of implant and remove partial denture last week, last year. So uh, gradually this book is selling. Yeah, in America nowadays. So I'm so happy. <laughs> and I published over 100 SCI uh, journals. And uh, when, I, when I include uh, the Korean articles, I published about uh, 168 articles. And also I have the uh, 80, 38 patent, yes, until now. So uh, I have been researching very hard in in my country. So uh, because of that, I, I got the honor to present uh, in front of you. Yeah. Okay, based on, based, based on my research and by my books, I have been developing, I have developed several IT items and then uh, su success to commercialization, commercialized. So the first thing is the, uh, 
uh, 3D printing dental membrane in 2015. At that time, I combined uh, the bi uh, biology material to the 3D printing. So, but uh, this, uh, this product was not spread in the market because of the co high cost. So nowadays, the magazine company is selling this, this product. Second thing is easy crown systems. Yes, I developed this one in 2016. So I have, I have been using uh, this system for seven years in Korea. So I have, I have, I have long-term data uh, now. So this system is the cementless, screwless, and uh, holeless. Screw holeless uh, prosthetic systems. But we can uh, detach very easily without re uh, losing the screw. So I will show these systems at the, and, uh, my lecture today. Uh, in 2018, I developed, I developed uh, advanced SLA surface, SLA sur surface uh, to, uh, for implant. So uh, I developed uh, implant systems in Korea. So uh, t now 20, 2022, uh, this product is proceeding the FDA approval. So uh, this year's uh, th th uh, this implant uh, is will be approved approved <laughs> yes by the by the FDA. So I'm I'm trying to change the, the connection part. Can you see oh, mouse? Oh, we cannot see the mouse. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'm I'm trying to change the connection part of implant. So my final goal, the implant have to have only two components, picture and zirconia crown without abutment, without screw. So nowadays I'm developing those kind of uh, new implant systems. And this system is popable. I developed this system in 2019. So I, have, I, I brought 10 samples now. So if you want to try, I will uh, give you a chance uh, for application today. Yeah. Uh, this, this device is for transfer the occlusal plane to the uh, rep dental lab directory when you take an impression. Understand? So anyway, occlusal plane is composed with uh, the anterior part and posterior part. Anterior occlusal plane is parallel with the interpopular line. The posterior occlusal plane is following with the campus line. You know? So when, when, uh, when we take impression, final impression, we can attach this device to the uh, tray handle, and then uh, this, this device can indicate the occlusal plane and then transport the information about the occlusal plane to the dental lab. Yes, I will show you next time. I also developed zirconia block. <laughs> this block is uh, selling in America nowadays. And this liquid is the zirconia lopunis enhancer. So to make lopunis of zirconia, you have to use the sand breast, right? Sand breasting. But sand breasting make the change of zirconia particle page from tetragonal page to the monolithic page. Do you know that? <laughs> anyway, uh, those kind of change of uh, particle change can make the weakness of the zirconia surface. So I developed another method. So not, not, not to use the, the sand breasting. So this, before the sintering, before the sintering of zirconia, this liquid can be uh, a coat inside of the zirconia crown. And then after sintering, uh, this liquid make the lopunis surface without sand breasting. And in 2020, I developed Edutok attachment system. Uh, that is the dedicated attachment for zirconia Oron X system. So this attachment is now uh, approving the FDA. So today I will also, this system, yes, uh, so uh, you can see the model. I prepared the model. Because of, uh, because of the limitation of my luggage, I, I brought a small number of casts. So, but you can see the cases in Korea. Uh, this implant system is for anterior, lower anterior teeth. 
yes, the, uh, the narrow implant. But uh, this implant don't use the cement for attach the, the, the crown. But uh, this system is very difficult because it's very difficult to make the, the, the zirconia crown in every lab, dental lab. So in, in only specific dental lab can make this crown. So uh, in future, five or 10, 10 years later, definitely those kind of cementary uh, prosthetic system will be developed. Uh, I want to skip this one because it's very complex system. Anyway, uh, this, this is a, a specific abutment uh, uh, without uh, cement. Especially within the four millimeter vertical height, uh, the process process can be made. Yes, and, uh, but uh, this system is using only Korea now, so I cannot. It's a bit. I'm I'm, pe I'm better not to say about this one. So this pork uh, is developing nowadays. So uh, this pork is for distal denture. Yes. So if 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 you use this pork. You can uh, make den digital denture only one day, only one visit. So my final goal, every patient can get the den digital denture within two visits. So after taking impression, you can take a bite or you can take, you can take vertical dimension, uh, center relation, and then occlusal plane, and the location of the anterior teeth. Every information will be transferred to the dental lab. So without, occlusal, without using the occlusal limb, wax limb, you can make the, uh, the final dentures uh, within two visits. Yes. Uh, at the next, next seminar, I will uh, show these systems. Now we are preparing uh, the, the demonstration now. Anyway. Continue. I'm developing continuously. So today's lecture, I will include these three kind of system. So first thing is the the easy crown system. Second thing is the editor attachment system for Oronex. And then it's, it's not ma main my lectures, but uh, today I will show show the the sh show how to use this Papo system today. Okay, let's start my lecture. Uh, today's my lecture composed three topics. Yeah, first thing is the basic lectures to you. So I will uh, talk about the restorative consideration for peri-implant management. So for, uh, this is for fixed processes. If we cannot make the proper processes, and then we can uh, move to the number two and number three topic. If the patient have enough bone, if the patient in up soft tissue, we can make the ideal implanted prosthesis, right? But if the patient don't have enough bone, enough soft tissue, we have to change the, the prosthetic patterns to the t number two or number three. Okay. Yesterday I attended the, the AO, Academic of Oseo Integration uh, annual meeting. Yeah. Last night I came here yeah, from the Phoenix. I'm so tired now. <laughs> so AO is very big academy, very big uh, uh, conference. So uh, I like it, this conference because I can see the uh, new trend of implant uh, prosthetic systems or pro implant uh, surgery uh, trend. So when I, when I attend the prosthetic track, I'm surprised because uh, he said the similar topics, yes, uh, with my, my, my lecture, today's lectures. Mm -hmm. So I'm surprised. So I, I, I take pictures. Do you know Honest Tori? He was the professor in Pennsylvania University, and now he, he's running the, the training center uh, for implant surgery. And uh, imp do you know the tunnel technique? Tunnel technique? Yeah, for bone augmentations. Anyway, he developed those kind of techniques. I don't, I don't know exactly. He is a prosthodontist, but he, de he is developing uh, the new surgical te techniques now, now. Anyway, he emphasized the, the, the importance 
of the enough soft tissue volume and then the implant location to gain uh, uh, ideal final processes. So we have to consider about the emergence, uh, ideal emergence profile. And then we have to consider the proper depth of picture. Anyway, proper location of picture is very important to make ideal pineal processes. But many patients, many patients don't have enough bone, enough soft tissue, so we have to do such uh, bone augmentation or uh, soft tissue augmentation now. Anyway, his spinal goal is to emphasize the, his technique, smart technique, tunnel technique, bone augmentation technique, to get those kind of idea environment of the picture. No? <laughs> So this is my picture, but anyway, uh, to get to get ideal result, good result of final processes, we have to consider the transmucosal part shape, the gum shape. There, we can, I cannot. Ah, okay, this one, this part. I will I will call this part like trans transmucosal part. Transmucosal part. Okay? This part is the supra supra crest. Oh, sorry. This part is the a critical zone Th that is located the epithelial tissue. Yeah. So anyway, those kind of S curve is very important. But sometimes we cannot uh, get those kind of shapes because of the narrow, uh, uh, shallow or narrow reach and not enough bone volume. So if you make the critical over contour in this part, uh, that makes the apical migration of soft tissue. You know? So, but uh, you make the uh, critical under, under contour here, the soft tissue will be coronal migration. So anyway, the correct cortic, uh, cri uh, critical control is very important to match clinical crown. So uh, those kind of emergence profile and emergence shape is very important. Emergence, emergence control, right? <laughs> According to many uh, previous research, the long-term success rate of den uh, dental implant is about is over 95%. It, I, I, I think that this, this number is so high, but many articles is confusing between success rate and survival rate. Maybe this number is about the survival rate. I think so. Because uh, whenever I, I treat the patient, I always meet the side effect of implant nowadays. Peri-implantitis, bone loss, swelling, perimucositis, <coughs> Anyway, I, 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 whenever, when I, whenever, whenever I, I meet those kind of patients, I have the trouble, trouble, trouble about that. So uh, definitely in our school, our school's success rate is about 70, 70. Yeah, about 30% 30, 30 have the side effect. That's because the implant have the many structure, poor component. Poor implant, implant, poor implant. So as you know, the crown part, crown part, and abutment, picture, and screw, uh, poor fixation, the abutment to the picture, right? So those kind of poor components make the side effect, like this. In, 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 circular, uh, in crown, the dismentation or veneer fracture will be occur. In abutment, the deformation or fracture can be occur. Especially the, the uh, implant have the abnormal crown and root ratio. Those kind of side effects can be occur very easily. Especially this screw is so burdened to me <laughs> because every uh, screw loosening can <coughs> see the, uh, open, can see open in clinic and deformation or screw fracture can be occur after, uh, get, after, after getting the high force 
uh, from the crown, right? Yeah. The picture also make the side effect like fracture, osseointegration integration failure. But uh, nowadays the implant picture is developing very well. So those kind of uh, failure is reducing gradually. But another part, the pro problems, uh, is so serious. I think so. So my final goal, I I will remove, remove. I I will remove. Can read of this part, at this part. Yes, and in the future I will lecture about that. This table is uh, showed the the Korea Consumer Agency Survey. Yeah, so uh, Korean government analyzed the percentage of cases where uh, a lawsuit or comp complaint uh, has been uh, filed due to the uh, uh, dental accident. The Number one accident is the, oh, I cannot see it. Okay, occlusal problems. As you know, the Korean write the uh, sticky food and then hard food. The biting force is higher than American, I think so. So if we, we make the out of occlusion, definitely the patient make the shoe. Is it the same situation in America? Is it the same? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so occlusal problem is so uh, so dangerous. The second thing is picture loss uh, because of the periimplantitis. The second thing is nerve damage, and first thing is the periimplantitis because of the residual cement or uh, abnormal emergency profile, improper cleansing, cleaning of the uh, uh, implant processes. So because of that, peri-implantase can be occurred. But patients think that that's because of the doctor's behavior, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, some part, it's right. We have to make the proper form to clean perfectly. But sometimes we only see the aesthetic aspect. Sometimes we are focused on the making the final processes only not to consider about the, the cleanable shape of prior processes. So because of that, that th those kind of side effects make the shoe in Korea. And another thing is the process, processes pull out or remover or screw fracture loosening also uh, frequently occurred. Especially screw loosening is very, Frequent in, in South Korea. Yes, I don't know the, the situation in America, but uh, but sometimes I neglect to make those kind of final processes. Although this this final process is not made by me, but sometimes I make like this. What's the problem? The gold crown is the implant processes. The crown ranks so hot, so long, right? This implant has the abnormal, abnormal crown root, root ratio. There are many factors to make the screw loosening. First, the speed of abut abutment or inadequate crown root ratio, eccentric premature contact, the omission of the uh, retalk process. We have to retalk uh, second times, right? But uh, if the uh, doctor skip those kind of retalk, the clamping force, do you know the clamping force? The clamping means the, the holding force between picture and uh, abutment using the strength of the screw. Elongation of, elongation of the screw. You know, that, that is the uh, clamping force. Anyway, uh, if we omit the retalk process, definitely the screw, screw force will be reduced. Yeah. But there is no definite reason because we cannot, we cannot find out the, the exact reason. This patient repeatedly screw loosened, occurred screw loosening seven times. So uh, the doctor referred to me. So how can I solve this problem? Uh, this crown have the abnormal, abnormal crown root ratio. The, the, uh, 
the limitation of proper crown ratio is one by one. But this patient has about one by two. One and two. So uh, in, in this case, if you, if you make the eccentric pores, eccentric occlusal pores on the occlusal table, definitely the torque, torque movement will be occurred similarly. So we have to remove the eccentric bite in this case. That is very important. Especially the occlusal, occlusal contact point have to locate located within the picture width. You understand? If you, if you insert the pore diameter implant, the implant, the bite contact have to make the within the pore millimeter. If you make the wide crown, the occlusal contact point can make the, the, the eccentric movement, tilting continuously. So I reduced the, I checked the occlusal, occlusion. So this patient have the strange occlusion like this. So uh, this is canine, but the canine guide, there is no canine guidance. But the premolar have the guidance. So when, when, when the dentist see those kind of uh, cases, uh, we definitely decide to make the group functional movement. You know? Do you know group function? Group function means the poor, uh, premolar, second molar, uh, first, uh, first premolar, you know, the, 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 the number of teeth different between Korean and America. So I cannot, and I cannot say the number of uh, crown. Anyway, uh, first premolar and second premolar and first molar have to contact when the patient moves the center. You know, that is group function. So this, this dentist make the the eccentric contact point in this uh, molar crown. The black color is, is, uh, is showing the, the eccentric contact point. Red color is showing the centric occlusion bite contact point. So I removed, I removed this black color and then make the flat occlusion surface. And then I solved, solved, solved this problem. So anyway, the occlusal contact formation is very important to reduce the screw loosening, especially in, in severely bone loss cases. This is one, the, the, one of the reasons, you know? But every uh, screw loosening, uh, every screw, uh, screw loosening uh, is combined with the several factors. So we have to see that the, the uh, important factors in this case, in every case. <coughs> so I removed uh, side, side contact, eccentric movement contact point, and I made only the, the CO contact point like this. Anyway, today I don't want to say about the mechanical complication. Uh, my, focus, my, my focus is about the soft tissue uh, problems today, okay? So I write this uh, world conference, world workshops. So uh, in 2017, uh, in Switzerland, uh, there, will, there, uh, there was the, the world, Cup world workshop. Uh, in, in this workshop, many uh, famous, the perio uh, uh, or proso specialist uh, together, and then and they searched the many articles, and then they made the consensus, consensus about the pineal processes. No? So we have to uh, review these uh, papers now, today. They make the consensus of periodontal and peri-implant disease. Periodontal disease is, has the deep relationship with the peri-implant disease. For example, Dr. Joe extracted his teeth he takes uh, by the periodontitis. So after in implantation, the, the, that implant will be occurred because of the history of periodontitis. You know? Anyway, uh, the, the patient who have the periodontitis is very dangerous in implant uh, treatment, implant maintenance. Especially they made the, the risk in indicators 
for periodontal and peri implant disease. So uh, I will show you about that. Uh, as you know, the healthy peri implant mucosa has three to four millimeter widths, right? And then the peri implant mucosa have three layers like this. The connective tissue layer, this is a picture, the connective tissue layer, junctional epithelium layer, and circular epithelium, epithelium layer, right? So it connective, connective tissue layer is very important to make the barrier, and junctional epithelium is, is important as well. Yeah, to prevent the bacteria or to, to prevent the food debris. The cir circular epithelium has the hard soft tissue. So, uh, so uh, the margin of the pineal processes have to rotate this part, not to this part. No? Yeah. I believe you all know about that. Anyway, the healthy peri-implant soft tissue have those kind of things. So the absence of clinical signs of inflammation, absence of breathing, suppression, no increase in pocket depth compared to previous examination, absence of bone loss. Uh, beyond crestal bone level changes resulting from initial remodeling. So those kind of symptoms is very important, right? But sometimes we can meet the peri-implant mucositis. Mucositis, peri-implant mucositis is re reversible, reversible disease. If we can remove the calculus or put debris or residual cement, the uh, soft tissue can be healed automatically. Peri-implant mucositis don't have bone loss around the implant. So, but sometimes we can make uh, peri-mucositis peri, peri by ourselves to make those kind of bulk processes, make, uh, remaining uh, residual cement. And then uh, this, this, this factor is uh, uh, by the patient. Anyway, the, the patient, uh, clean perfectly, or uh, the toothbrush don't uh, clean this cir circular area, definitely peri-mucositis will be occur. The problem is the peri-implantitis. Peri-implantitis has the bone loss. This disease is not reversible. Although you remove the calculus around the implant picture and the processes, the bone was not regenerated generally. Yes, some, tech, some uh, perio specialists can make the bone around this, but uh, if you make the new bone formation around the, the implant, detoxification of surface is very important, but the procedure is very difficult. Anyway, uh, I, know, I know you, you are our general practice, right? Practicer, so uh, anyway, the first choice is not make those kind of peri-implantitis when you make the pineal processes. In this world workshop, they said like this, only plug, only plug is the etiological factor for peri-implant disease. Smoking, diabetes is not, is not definite reason. Poten smoking and diabetes is, are potential risks risk indicators, but inconclusive. In your, in your patient, some, uh, some patient ha, uh, ha, uh, is a sm uh, heavy smoker, but they don't have any problems around the implant, right? Sometimes I saw, uh, so I, I'm seeing those, those kind of patients. So although the patient uh, is smoking, or if the patient has the diabetes, the maintenance is perfect, the result will be perfect. So anyway, plug, plug is the only reason, only uh, definite reason to make the peri-implant disease. Sometimes we, we I'm, I'm post on this, so because of, because of me, uh, the residual cement is uh, maintained. So it's definitely it will make the peri-implantitis. Not always, not always. Sometimes it makes the peri-implantitis. Combined with the cement with the plug. When the cement 
uh, remained in the socket, pair on the socket. So that makes the roughness surface, right? Because of that, uh, those kind of roughness surface uh, accumul can accumulate the, the plaque. So th that is most pro uh, big problems. But cement itself not make the peri-implantitis. The positioning of implant that does not facilitate oral hygiene and maintenance is also important. But sometimes it's strange. It, 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 it's it's, uh, it's according, uh, according to the, the type of biotype. Do you know the biotype? The thick mucosa, thin mucosa. Anyway, the difference of the thickness of mucosa, the, the result will be different, although we make the abnormal uh, shape of the crown. You know? yeah, but that, that is the limit. Uh, so they say that those kind of things limited evidences, linking peri-implantitis. Anyway, we have to remove plaque. We have to make the proper emergence profile to clean perfectly by the patient. Those kind of things is important. I'm sorry. Are you boring? <laughs> Are you boring? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Endure only one hour. <laughs> yes. Uh, before my lectures, I always say that those kind of uh, basic uh, concepts, yes. At next time, I will change it, uh, the topics, basic topics. Anyway, uh, I like these pictures. Yes, they suggest the implant disease risk assessment. We 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 can call this this figure IDRA, IDRA table. So IDRA figures uh, it, uh, showed the the risk factor, eight risk factors for make the peri-implantitis. So first thing is the history of periodontitis, yes or no. So previous uh, patient have the periodontitis, had the periodontitis previously, definitely this patient have the risk of peri-implantitis. So the red color indicate the dangerous reason. Yellow is moderate. Green is a good, very good uh, situation. BOP indicate the percentage of implant and tooth site breathing index, breathing. When, when you, when you uh, push the probe in the socket, you can, if, you can, if you can see the breathing, that is dangerous situation. Especially the number of site with over five millimeter pocket depth also make the danger. You know, so you have to, you have to um, uh, you have to do the the gingivectomy or gingivoplasty to reduce the, the pocket depth. This one is bone level, a uh, periodontal bone loss in relate to the, the patient agents. For example, my age is fifty now, nine forty nine. So uh, uh, let's admit my age is fifty, and then my second molar second molar have the of 50% bone loss. My score is one, one. The borderline in the danger or moderate, no? So anyway, although the patient have only one teeth bone loss, only one tooth bone loss that indicated the danger of the, the peri-implantitis. So that means you have to careful, you have to, you have to be careful this, this kind of patient when you treat implant. Anyway, regular maintenance is very important. And then make the, the cleanable uh, prosthetic foam also very important. Perio susceptibility is the periodontitis susceptibility. Yeah, so uh, for example, one patient have the partially edentrous, edentrous region, so in remaining teeth, the, uh, how, how many teeth, how many uh, degrees uh, were, uh, were embarbed in the uh, periodontitis? So it's very important to factor. And next thing is supportive periodontal therapy. So from the hygienist, by the hygienist or by the dentist, regular maintenance and supportive periodontal therapy is very important. Curatizy or scaling. Those kind of things are important. Okay, 
So last two things. Last two things is is. Oh, um, sorry. Oh, there is no. 이게 보이지가 않아. 이 화면이 나는. <laughs> okay. Uh, next two things is very important. Is uh, those uh, these are related to my lecture today. R M to bone is the distance from the restorative margin of the implant supported prosthesis to the bone. No, the, uh, that indicate the margin location. So the margin location, the margin is located uh, about 1.5 millimeter uh, from the crest of bone, 1.5. That is the, the moderate reason. Anyway, the margin, proceeding margin, have to rotate it over two millimeter, one point five millimeter, from the crest of bone. I will show you the reason why that is very important. And pro prosthetic form is also important. So I will show you the the for example. So this patient have those kind of patterns of this figure. So prosthesis, pinal prosthesis have the bulky, bulky form. The, the patient cannot clean perfectly with the interdental pros, internet brushing, it's impossible to clean the, up, the upper prosthesis, right? Because of the bulk, bulky form. So if you make those kind of processes, and then you contact, you make the contact between prosthesis and gum, then make the difficulty of cleaning. So those kind of uh, shapes make the, the not, not cleanable, not cleanable processes, so very, very dangerous, dangerous part. Especially this patient have the history of periodontitis. This patient has the high idra patient, at least two in high risk. So in, in Korea, Many dental, dental uh, office make the, the maintenance programs. After measuring those kind of uh, factors, and then if the patient have over two uh, danger factors, regular maintenance is uh, make the regular treatment. Two or three months, every two or three months, uh, gather the, the, the uh, called the patient and they cleaned. And then specific cleaning, you know? Through those kind of process, they got they earn the money now. Yeah. If you see uh, when you see this these processes, there is no impression space. Do you know impression space? So if you insert implant uh, in the abnormal position, you cannot make the the impression space in here. So the patient cannot put into the interdental space with dental pros or interdental brushing, brush, right? It makes the peri-implantitis because of us. So anyway, I, I prepared the important papers. You have the memory. You have, to memo, you have to memorize these, these uh, important uh, papers, okay? So this paper uh, tested the angle, angle of the emergence profile, you know? So what kind of, what, what, what uh, range of angle of the transmucosal part is proper? So uh, this paper, tested the uh, over 45, 45 angles and 30 angle, 30 degrees angle. So when, when, when we see the, the result, the wide emergence profile showed the uh, higher bone nose. Yeah, so small emergence angle make the tight mucosal seal and then makes the rest block and that makes the better bone stability. Obtuse, obtuse or uh, high angle of the immersive profile make 
always make the pa uh, pair implant like this. So slim abutment for establishment of collagen fiber to control pair implant biology with this, minimizing bone remodeling. So I, I want to ask about this case. This, the, this figure showed the, some cases. So uh, this is implant and this is implant. Which one is better to you? In, in aspect of aesthetic, this one is better, best, right? But is it always, right? If the implant insert like this, to make wrapped crown, the emergence profile can make the smoothly. But to make the right one, you have to make the high no, no, how, how, how can I say? Anyway, about 45 degrees inclination, you know? The patient have the good habit of cleansing, cleaning, or uh, he, he, he got the regular maintenance uh, from the dental technique, uh, no, no, uh, dentist, or oral hygiene, there is no problem. But, calculus, if the calculus uh, accumulate inside of the circus, definitely light side will make peri-implantitis, recession of the gum. At this starting point, when you make the final processes, the patient and dentist all satisfy. But after five years, 10 years later, the gum will be recess, recessed. If the, especially uh, the patient have the thin mucosa in buccal aspect. So there is no correct answer. You have to calculate the, the width of the proper soft tissue or bone volume. And then finally, patient uh, ability for cleaning. That is very important. This is the Korean paper. Yes, I joined this, this, this uh, research. So, in this paper, suggest that 30 degree. Under 30 degree can make always the healthy soft, soft tissue, but uh, among the peri-implantitis groups, many patients have the over 30 degrees of emergence profile. I'm, now I'm focusing this part, not this part. This part angle have the under 30 degrees. And then concave part, concave form, concave form, no? not convex. This article uh, showed the minimum abutment height. Abutment height. So do you believe the platform switching's effectiveness? Efficiency of platform switching? Nowadays, are you, are you believe that platform switching is very important? Are you believing that? Are you believe that? That is the old concept. Platform switching is helpful to make the enough volume of soft tissue. That's right. But when we showed only platform switching, we can make the abnormal control of the final processes. I will show you. Anyway, in this, this, this paper, result is like this. So red line, red line is the, the straight abutment. Blue line shows the platform switching abutment. You know? If the, the patient have the within, within two millimeter, for example, two millimeter soft tissue depths, so two millimeter here, Two millimeter, two millimeter. The platform switching is effective. When, when, you, when you draw the line in this part, we can see the, the severe bone nose in the straight abutment, right? But we generally, we have to insert implant inside of three millimeter. When we insert the implant uh, with uh, with the, within the three implant, three, three millimeter widths, 
we can make the uh, uh, proper emergence profile. You know, so definitely you or may insert implant uh, with uh, below the three millimeter from the crest of soft tissue. You know? when we insert implant three millimeter point, there is no difference. So somebody said to me, so uh, when the patient have the thin mucosa, so flap switching is benefit, beneficial. Right, right. But at that time, we cannot make the proper emergence profile. I will show next slide. Oh, OK. This one, this, one, uh, this, this, uh, this paper uh, indicates the, the proper depth. Uh, oh, sorry. This study suggests the implant with the lower abutment. So uh, control group insert only uh, 1.5 millimeter depths. But on other things, insert the three millimeter depths. So when I see the final result, OK, purple line showed the over four millimeter depths, and then blue line showed the two millimeter depths, under two millimeter depths. Implant always try to make the biology with us, about three millimeter. You know? So if we insert only two millimeter depths, the bone limb modeling will be occurred around the implant and then make the three millimeter bio, biology with us. No? Another report showed similar results like this. Thin tissue patient within uh, under two millimeter losing more bone, uh, losing more bone compared with the thick tissue patient. Thick, thick, thick tissue patient means uh, the patient have the over two millimeter soft tissue. The authors, in, con in conclusion, the author said that about three millimeter depth is proper to maintain the health of the soft tissue you know, without considering the biotype. Although the patient have the thin biotype, three millimeter proper, the patient who have who have the, the thick, thick biotypes, three millimeter also very important. No? But uh, anyway, you have to memorize three millimeter, three millimeter, but not recent article, uh, they, they denied the three millimeter. We have to think about the widths, widths or diameter of implant. Look at this. If you Insert four millimeter diameter, four millimeter diameter. You have to put the implant deeper position because to make the proper emergence profile, smooth emergence profile. You know. Let's imagine uh, when, uh, you you want to insert a four four millimeter diameter implant, but the position is located this one here. At that time, you, you, you have to make the, the bulky <coughs> form of the implant, final processes, right? Do you understand? So we have to consider the diameter. If you insert the six, six millimeter diameter implant, the, the, the position can be located in, in this part, you know? But when you, when you insert the six millimeter diameter implant, uh, if you position this line, you also make the bulk implant, final processes. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very difficult. So anyway, so, so I, 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 I wrote the, the, the main, main sentences in this, this slide. Implant platforms of four millimeter may need to be placed vertically deeper relatively to a six millimeter platform implant. If one, is, if one is to achieve the same profile dimension and the three millimeter down rule, I, I, I said to you, three, you have to memorize three millimeter, but he said the three millimeter down rule may be too generalized to achieve proper vertical position. Generally, three millimeter depot is proper, but 
Combined with the, the position, you have to think about the diameter of implant. Especially, if this is also a recent article. So, if you insert the same, same diam diameter implant, but you want to make the platform switching. So, you insert the narrower abutment in the same picture, the final process is emergent form will be different. You know? So, smooth emergence profile is more important than platform switching. You know? yeah. This is recent con consensus. Especially if you, if you make the bulk, bulky form of the, the implant propyl processes, the patient cannot clean. Those kind of smooth implants, obviously, is more important. Smooth, smooth, smooth emergence profile is more important, right? Sometimes we make those kind of processes, cover the soft tissue to make the aesthetic final processes, then make peri-implantitis in future, definitely. We cannot clean. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm explained about vertical position of the implant, and then uh, I, I'm emphasizing the importance of the consideration about diameter of picture today. But you have to think about the, the buccal lingual aspect. That is de definite, definite uh, knowledge. The old patient have the over 1.5 millimeters width of bone. Okay? There is no argue. Now, now that I'm 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 director the Ostem implant, so uh, Hyosen in America. So this slide is from the Ostem uh, textbooks. So at that time I emphasized the bottle width of three millimeter, but nowadays I'm changing my mind. Well, well, because I'm I'm searching many researches, the concept is changing, changing. So. Three millimeter bottle width is very important, but more important thing is the relationship between implant diameter and depth, and then under 30 degrees smooth trans uh, transmucosal part area. Okay. This is the evidence about the margin position, prosthetic margin position. So. There are so many articles about that. So if the margin located in, the, 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 when you see these pictures, the red line, red line is the platform, you know? And then this, when you see this, this you can see the, the very short distance between, between a platform to the margin, right? In this case, we can see the margin of bone nose. So uh, many scientists say, right, this, th that is hypothesis, not, not exact evidence base. Anyway, the margin gap make the pumping effect whenever the, the biting, and then bacteria or any fluid or other things can, can be pumped from the, uh, this margin area. Although you, you, you bond with cement, hard cement. Nano size movement, or I don't know, and micro size movement. That is a hypothesis, not, not correct evidence. But we don't, we, don't, we don't know the exact reason why those kind of things make the bone nose. Anyway, uh, every article said same things. The distance from the platform, platform to margin is proper when the, when the distance has the over two millimeter. Two millimeter. So this showed the, the importance of removing the residual cement. Yeah. Almost done, almost done. The first class is almost done. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. So 
Why, why, why uh, the reason why I uh, talk about those kind of basic lectures, uh, after understanding the, the basic lectures or basic uh, scientific evidence, and then you, you have to show, we have to, you, have, you can see um, my next lectures. You can understand my next lecture. If we cannot make the proper emergency profile, we cannot make the proper clean, cleaning uh, ability to the patient, we have to change the, the solution of the final processes. So in the past, many dentists think that splinting is very important to increase the, the implant success rate. But now, it's not. It's not. Yeah. There is no definite evidence about that. Uh, when, I, when I find the long-term data, the splinting or single implant have a similar success rate, as well as the natural teeth success rate, splint success rate has similar with other things. This is uh, the article in 2022. 20, uh, in European countries, many dentists write the short implant like this. So they tried uh, the short, short uh, tried the, the unsplinted implant uh, final processes with the short implant, and they, uh, they reported high success rate about that. But when you see these this, uh, pictures, they are understanding the importance of the depth of implant. If, if uh, the implant uh, inserted the, the upper part compared with this, definitely this uh, implant will be peeled. When you see pineal processes, every teeth, between every teeth have the, the, the proper <laughs> impressure space. Understand? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, impression space. If you, if you insert implant closely between two, two implants, they, you, can, you cannot make the impression space. This space is impression space. But you cannot make it. And there, there, there is a severe bone nose. Although you make the impressive space, the patient cannot put into the space with brush. No? So anyway, those kind of uh, abnormal position of implant make the side effect. It's, it's, not, it's not the part of a patient. It's, it's, it's part uh, of us. Dentist port. One patient reported to me from the general dent practice, practicer. So he insert implant like this. And then continuously perimplantitis was occurred. And then he said to me, solve this problem. I cannot this this, this problem. <laughs> yeah. So, so I tried a remake one more time, but I failed. So I suggested the removal of this, this picture. So we, we cannot make the proper impression space. Look at this crown. So uh, anyway, it's very difficult. So uh, there is some article about the importance of impression space. Our God give us the proper impression space in natural teeth. No? So we have to mimic the impression space, like the, the pineal processes. Uh, pineal, uh, no, no, natural teeth, like this. So I emphasize the, the importance of transmucosal part poem, the gray color, you know? And then the margin. Pro Proceeding margin have to uh, have to have the distance over two millimeter from the platform switch platform, right? And then make the those kind of impression space. But if we insert implant like this, like this, you know, if you want to make the impression space like this, so you have to make the obtuse angle of the abutment. So you had about insert implant more deeply. Anyway, we have to think about final processes, poems, and transmucosal poem. 
And then according to the patient condition, you have to adjust the depth. And then you have to select the, the diameter. Yeah. Oh, if the patient don't have enough bone in this area, so you choose the four millimeter diameter implant, you have to insert more deeply. You know? So I, uh, we, we, have, we will break after seeing this, this uh, case, okay? So sometimes I meet those kind of patient, very simple case. This case is uh, performed 10 years ago. Do you know DO Implant Company? Yeah, so uh, DO Implant, at that time, DO Implant developed the, the navigation systems. So I, I'm first user. I'm, de I'm developing together. And uh, this, case to, uh, this case was for making the process of edentulous patient yes, uh, using the DO Navi systems. So it's about 12, 11 years old. I don't know exactly. Anyway, uh, this patient have the, uh, don't have the teeth. So after extraction, uh, after, after the remaining extraction, I will insert the implant, and then I put the temporary at the same time. So I, 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 would, I, 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 wanna, I wanted to do the immediate loading in this case. At, at, at that time, the patient have enough bone volume. So I designed the, the final processes like this, and then make the, the surgical guide, and then idea, idea to temporary to cell, cell, shell, yeah, yeah. And then insert, after removing three teeth, and then insert implant, and then uh, put, put the, the pi, uh, temporary processes like this. At that time, it's very, it was very easy because the, the patient had enough bone because he has the remaining teeth. So bone vol uh, he, uh, he has the, uh, proper bone volume and bone depth uh, without the sinus, sinus area. So I, I, I'm, I did uh, bone augmentation uh, simultaneously with, uh, sim simultaneously. So uh, after, after the, the decide, uh, after the decision of the final implant position, and then I cut back, I cut back the final, proce final processes right, in software, and then make the, the, the abutment. At that time, considering the final processes, I adjusted the depth of implant. Not, consider, not considering the remaining bone, I'm a prosthodontist. I always see the final processes. You have to see the uh, sequence. I always, I always design the final processes at first, and then I decide the, the picture. So when you send your patient data to the implant company, the designer is not dentist. So they, they make the, the routine manner, you know? So after, after designing pile, after design, you have to conform about that. At that time, you have to see the, the emergence profile and transmucosal part angle and, uh, with the relationship, uh, relationship with the, the final processes. That is very important. So after extraction, and I, I insert the implant, and then t this is temporary. The good implant position make the good location of the screw hole. You know, so implant position is not good. Always uh, they make the the abnormal, uh, uh, abnormal position of the screw hole. You know, so this is important. Every hole located in the occlusal surface. If you make those kind of hole you can make the fixed type, fixed type final processes. But if you don't make those kind of hole, you have to change the system, prosthetic systems. After breaking time, I will show the another systems to recover those kind of, and not, not, not this kind of, okay, uh, to recover in difficult case. After insertion, 
temporary at the certain time, designed cost avoidment, and then final processes. And the byte check. Byte check is very important, right? Yeah. This is Piner. I made the impression of space in every uh, Piner processes. And then this patient is good nowadays, <coughs> after 11 years later. So anyway, digital dentistry is very good method to maintain the, the Piner processes because we can check the, the Immersive profile form and impression space, and then the distance, the margin from the crystal bone. In this case, how can is it is it right? Is it is it normal position? Do you believe you can make the fixed processes ideal fixed processes in this case? After making those kind of fixed processes, and then after extraction of implant, and then sent to me. <laughs> I can. <laughs> after 10 years later, uh, he, got, uh, uh, he got diabetes. He got stent in the, in the heart. So we cannot perform the sinus rift or bone augmentation broadly. So how can we solve this patient? Okay about 10 minutes break and then